name is Mohammed Halalu, and I stand before you as a grieving individual. A relative to the victims of the recent Israeli attacks on Gaza. Last Sunday night, I, like many others, watched in horror as the western part of Gaza was massively bombarded. Little did I know that my family, residing in Al Shatter refugee camp, was in the heart of the devastation. As the news unfolded, panic set in. I attempted to reach out to my family, but communication was severed. The restoration of the telecommunication on Monday morning brought no relief, but the heartbreaking news that my entire family seeking refuge in their home has become victims of an airstrike. My mother, Sharifa, my sisters, Wafa, Nahla, and Reeb, my brothers, Imad, Ihab, and Derwish, and their families, 30 lives, including 12 children, and 11 women, including one of them pregnant, all have been killed in an instant. Days before the attack, I spoke with my sister through a video call. A snapshot of their lives were bleak. My mother exhausted, my brother making bread on the ground, on wood fire, on the last, on the last of their saved flour. I asked about food. And my sister, in a moment of painful truth, responded with uncertainty. She knew, she knew as did I, that they didn't have enough for the days ahead. The Israeli occupation threatened them not only with its death machines, but with the silent weapon of hunger, lack of water, electricity, fuel, and medical care. Six of the bodies have been identified and laid to rest by brave neighbors. The remaining loved ones are trapped until now under the rubble, until the time we speak. Inaccessible due to the continued presence of Israeli warplanes and tanks. The hope of finding survivors diminishes with each passing day as the region becomes increasingly dangerous. 30 lives, with dreams, plans, and hopes for better future, have been extinguished in a single strike. These were not just the statistics. These were people I knew, with memories itched in my heart. The ruthless attacks have not spared any thought for the lives they ex extinguished repeating the tragic pattern for hundreds of families and causing the death of over 11 or even maybe today 12,000 12, people in about one month. It is not just a war. It is genocide, a term we cannot shy away from. The perpetrators are known and some disturbingly, disturbingly support these crimes, unfortunately. I stand here with my friends united in grief to implore anyone with the power to act, leaders, governments, organizations, to intervene immediately. We call for a ceasefire to end this bloodshed, to prevent further loss of Palestinian lives in Gaza. Humanity must not turn a blind eye to suffering, to the suffering and we must unite against the horror of war, surviving for peace, but also for justice. In the face of this unimaginable tragedy, we must remember the names and stories of those we have lost. We must honor their memory and demanding accountability and justice, and an immediate end to the barbaric attacks that have been and that have claimed so many lives so far.
Thank you. At last, 52 February members. Uh, every day that number grows about, it's already at least 55 family members who have died. There are too many to list their names here, but I feel especially sad for the lost of my dear Miss Doa. She's 60 years old, and Lara, she's 11 years old. We were always together, we played together, and every day, uh, we, and often, we swim together. Uh, they died uh, in one of the bombings, along with, uh, with my aunts and my cousins. It was the bombing of uh, a building where they lived, while their fathers were sh searching for bodies in the building next door uh, that had been bombed before. Um, other victims of that bombing were my aunts, Samar, Abu Ma'alak and her children, Rahaf, Abu Ma'alak, 19 years old, uh, Ranim, Abu Ma'alak, 17 years old, um, Ragat, Abu Ma'alak, 14 years old, Sami, Abu Ma'alak, 10 years old, and Yusuf, Abu Ma'alak, 5 years old. My aunt, Yola, Abu Ma'alak, and her daughter, Lina, Abu Ma'alak, 23 years old, had passed away. My my aunt uh, Sharuk and uh, Abu Ma'alik and her children, Saad uh, uh, Abu Ma'alik, nine years old, Aya Abu Ma'alik, three years old, um, Ibrahim Abu Ma'alik, just six years old. I suddenly saw the images from Gaza that have been bombed, um, their name appeared on the television. I fall asleep thinking about those images every day I see. Uh, I think of the war we ourselves experience in the uh, in the war uh, five years before before we came to Belgium, and uh, how my sister, uh, she, when she was uh, two years old, was wounded on her head uh, in a bombing and she couldn't walk. My father decided to come to Belgium uh, uh, to seek uh, uh, tre uh, treatment for and for her and a safe place for us. But when is it going to be a safe place for the people in Gaza? Uh, this is unjust and inhumane. You must stop the war against Gaza. It's uh, enough with killing children. Enough with killing innocent children. In Gaza, they were totally deleted from our uh, civil uh, registers. They disappeared with a big number of, of people. 
And we wanted to give uh, those families the platform today in the European Parliament to speak about their suffering and uh, maybe...